Hey everybody, how's it going? Bully Scholarship, we here, and welcome back for more Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Last time we did Metropolis, and I believe it was called Canyon Speedway. Um, anyway, we did those two levels, so today we're going to be tackling Robotica Farms, and then the next couple episodes we're going to be finishing up uh, the Winter Tundra Homeworld, and finishing the game for that matter, I guess. So yeah, this, we're almost done. This game's gone by pretty quickly. Now, of course, I've sort of been going in streaks in terms of recording. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. Gross, I hate bugs. Ugh. Yeah, kill him. Yeah. Oh, snap. Oh? Well, he got slapped. Let's go have a... Ew. That sounds gross. Hi! <laughs> Spyro, these here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time to help us get rid of them? Sure, Farmer Green Bean. Find your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more invading pests. Okay. That sounds delicious to me, Farmer Green Bean. Yeah. So I'm sort of just doing the levels in sort of least favorite to favorite. Um, just have the most fun at the end, I don't know. I don't like, I mean, I don't hate this level, but I don't love it. It's pretty good, but, um, I like the farm setting. I'd probably prefer it if it weren't robots, but it would, I don't know, it wouldn't make too much sense if just giant bugs were invading. So, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, so after this one, we're probably going to be doing Cloud Temples, and then we'll end it with Mystic Mars, good, Mark. Marsh, I think. Yeah, Mystic Marsh. Um, that one's definitely one of my favorite levels in this, uh, in this game. It's up there with, like, Zephyr and, whoops, and the, uh, Badlands and stuff like that. But, I don't know, this level, this game's got a, a lot of good levels. It's kind of hard just to list one. It's not like in, uh, Spyro 1 where I absolutely adore, like, most of the levels from one world. You know, there's some you like and some you don't. That's how it rolls. And the same in Spyro 3. Um, I'm thinking of doing that one after this game. I'm not sure. We'll see if I'm still in the Spyro mood. Um, I might probably have to do some practicing because I don't know that game that well compared to uh, th this one and the first one. You know, the first one, this one, I I know just about all the secrets and everything you need to know. But that one, I've beaten it a couple times, but you know, not like 20 times like I have the first one and the second one. You know, that one, uh, I had some issues with it. Um, I don't know if it was with my memory card or with my save file, but I remember as a kid, it wouldn't give me the dragon egg for one of the speedways for some reason. I think I remember reading online, you know, it was some glitch, like if you, I don't remember how it came to be, but if it was like, if it was the, uh, the non-greatest hits copy, and like you finished the normal challenge, and then you went to, and then you left, and then you came back to the time attack, you couldn't get it, or, or something like that. Um, but I'll have to do some research on that so we don't get screwed over. Because I remember it, that was the last egg that I could get, and I couldn't figure it out. And uh, I don't think I ever did as a kid. I, I was like, what the heck? I remember, uh, you know how uh, back in the day they would have like those, uh, whatever they call it, like, phone support things for games. I think I, my parents actually had a card and we called asking them for that and they couldn't figure it out either. And I'm pretty sure not till not that long ago I read about it online and I was like, oh, well, <laughs> that would explain it. But I remember being kind of disappointed as a kid by that happening. I was like, oh man, I can't, you know, because I had beaten the first one and the second one 100%, you know. I'm a completionist, that's how I roll. But anyway, so yeah. Um, I'll have to do some research and before I proceed with recording that game. But otherwise, it's a pretty good game. It's got some good levels. Um, but I don't think the music in general is as good as the first one and second one, in my opinion. It was more techno-y, more computer-y. It didn't sound as really cool and adventurous as the first two, but maybe that was just me. Um, I did like, however, I loved the music for, uh, Fireworks Factory. That that song is so catchy. But um, the third one's definitely probably the hardest. I'd say it's got some really tough challenges. These darn bugs are making a joke of my expensive robot scarecrows. 
Can you chase them down and flame them, Spyro? Sure. Flame the bugs. Especially Agent 9, though. He had some really freaking tough... Um, some really tough uh, challenges. Including the one on Fireworks Factory. Yeah, for this one you sort of just gotta... Actually, uh, as a kid I remember struggling with this, but this one is pretty easy. <laughs> My fields are safe from those flying vermin, Spyro. Take this doodad I done dug up yesterday. <laughs> I done dug up. Well, definitely some redneck dialogue here. I love it. All right. And uh, if I didn't mention already, the uh, after beating like the main challenge for each level here, you just get an orb because we did indeed obtain all 14 talismans. Or as a, as a, a Laura said, 14 talisman. I remember she said that in uh, one of the first, might be the first part. Whoa, is this thing, yep, that thing moves around, that's creepy. But yeah, I remember she said that, and as a kid I was like, 14 talisman, what? What do you mean by that? Should it be talismans or something? But whatever. So anyway, yeah, um, we did obtain all those, so there aren't any more, now it's just orbs. And this really, this this like third world really just serves as a way to get more orbs if you don't have enough to fight Ripto, or if you're like me, just to get all uh, all 64 of them before you complete the game and stuff like that. And we do get a little reward for doing everything, which we'll be seeing in the next couple parts. And uh, as I did mention earlier, um, I do intend to do the skill point things. Just go through each level and show you how to get them. Just as a little walkthrough thing, sort of. Um, I personally don't know very many of them. Um, for a while I didn't realize they existed here. I just remember hearing about that from someone. I don't know how I remember that. I'm not sure why I just did that. But um, I th I'm pretty sure they have skill points in this game, but I can't remember. You know, I think it's one for each level. I know they definitely have it in the third game and uh, stuff like that, but I pretty sure I got one here, but they don't announce it as much, it just makes the, uh, the sound effect, because uh, back in the different episode, it was the uh, Skillo's Badlands one. I filmed that, and I killed like all of those like flying guys in that area, and I got a skill point, so, or I made the same sound as you would hear in Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. So, anyway, I'm rambling on, but... Uh, I believe they're in this game. I'll do some research and figure out how I get each one, and then I'll do a little tutorial, sort of a bonus episode or two on how to uh, get each one. Um, however, I did get one for sure, so that one will, you will not hear the sound effect when I film that, but that's alright. <sighs> Whatever. We'll see what goes down. But, yeah, there'll be a few bonus episodes. There's some uh, after-game things you can do, just for the heck of it, and... Uh, Stuff like that. Let's see, oh, yep, yeah, just like the Stone Hill. Anyway, let's do that. So yeah, um, it's been a really freaking crazy week at work. If you don't, if you haven't seen any other parts, I work at Menards, which is a sort of a home improvement uh, s series of stores. Um, centered in or the Midwest area, um, like Minnesota, Wisconsin, areas like that. It's actually uh, located, you know, the main headquarters is located in uh, uh, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, but uh, I work at the one in uh, Richfield, Minnesota. Um, I live about three or four minutes, well not, not even three or four minutes, uh, like a minute or you know, just a couple miles down the road, so it's a very very convenient spot for a part-time job, you know, through high school, and, and now hopefully I can, you know, maintain it through uh, at least a couple of years of college uh, until I start doing internships, which I am unaware of when that will actually begin, but whatever. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I've, it's been busy there. Ooh, yay, we turned it on by talking to this guy. Wait a go, Spyro. Them varmints won't be coming near our crops now. Nope. Can I offer you a reward? Nope. You can't. Yeah, please hook me up with a shiny orb. Woo! Seven more, guys. Seven more. Okay. So we could leave, but what fun is that? Wow, that was bad. <sighs> well, I'll cut till I'm up there, because, yeah. Transition! 
Okay, we're back. Now we're up here, let's talk to this dude. I used to drive my tractor all around the farm, <laughs> but some fool robot blocked the path up. Do you think you could knock him down with a bit of a supercharge? Sure. This one was always a struggle for me as a kid, I remember. Now it's not too bad if I remember correctly. Ooh, curse that pot. We'll get that later before I forget. Let's see if I can figure this out in the first try. Or not figure it out, but okay, that's not happening. Whoa! Transition! Okay, let's try that again. Woo! Oh, the slappity slap. Oh, gee, okay, that. Transition. Oh, never mind. Screw that. That. Wow. Okay, that's convenient. <laughs> yeah, this was a struggle for me as a kid. But anyway, over at Menards, it's been kind of busy. Uh, we just had like this 15% off everything you can fit in these paper bag sale. So they call it bag sale. <laughs> so actually, the 15% off everything you can fit inside of this paper bag sale. That'd be an awesome name, though. But um, dang it. But um. Yeah, they, so the weekends have been crazy. Um, today we are kind of short on people. Tomorrow we're going to be even more short on people. So it should be fun, you know. And what sucks more is closing on Sundays. Because we close at 8, which I mean, I like getting home, you know, at a decent time rather than 10, 15, 10, 30. But freaking no one leaves the freaking store at 8 o'clock. Everyone... Freaking, oh, let's go to Menards. It's 8.30 on a Sunday night. We got nothing better to do. Yay! A fine piece of steering that was, Dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen. <laughs> oh, I was going to say cow poop. I was like, wow. Nice and shiny. But, um, anyway. Yay! We got all the orbs. Well, these levels are pretty short, actually, now that I think about it. Let's get this. Yeah, so these episodes might be a bit shorter, but that's all right. Because now I can film multiple at a time, and we'll be done with this probably in the next week or so. Perhaps if I'm really diligent, I could finish this before I go on vacation for, uh, like, four or five days or whatever. Yeah, I guess it's four days. Yeah, we'll see. I'll talk about that in a little while. But anyway, um, so it's been busy there, and, uh, apparently we're going to be shorter on people, which sucks, because... No one leaves the store at 8 o'clock at night. Which, I mean, you know, that's how they roll. Um, but still, why the heck? And especially on Saturday nights, that that's what really annoys me when people freaking are like, Oh, it's 9.30 on a Saturday night, let's go to Menards. Like, who does that? Like, woo, why the heck would you go to Menards? Out of all the places you could be obnoxious at, why not... Why go to Menards? Like, oh, I need to buy some duct tape so badly. For, like, no, you don't. Please. Can you just go home and let us go home? Because, you know, we have lives, too. We don't, you know, like staying at the store all night, either. Let's see. I think that's... Ow. That's right down over here. Yay! And right at the entrance. Hooray! But, um... Yeah. So apparently we're short tomorrow, but that's all right. We'll survive. And I'm kind of excited because, well, like the past month or so, I've sort of become like I'm always I've always been the everything guy. You know, I'm trained everywhere. I can do whatever. You know, it, it don't matter. Uh, whoops, I guess I'm missing one gem. Um, so I'm trained in everywhere. I can go wherever. So I'm not just like one of those guys that sits at a cash register all day because that. That'd be awful. I would want to kill myself if that was my job. Just doing cashiering. That's how it was for me, actually, for about a, a year when I transferred to a different store when ours was being rebuilt. At least for most of it. Eventually they realized that I wasn't, like, some dumb robot that only knew how to cashier. Eventually they are like, oh, this guy actually can be somewhat handy and can fix stuff and solve problems and it's kind of organized. Stuff like that. But, yeah, that always bugged me. Oh, well, that's stupid. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I'll talk about that afterwards. Anyway, uh, they... I've sort of become the everything guy. You know, I'll do trash, and I'll do dust mopping, and I'll do this, and I'll go organize this, and 
And now I've sort of become the assistant head cashier where I'll just fill in if it's busy as a head cashier, you know. Um, each register is equipped with a bell and a light. Oh yeah, this is pretty great. <laughs> Let's buy these animals and kill them. <laughs> Actually, I don't think they bought those because that'd be the biggest waste of money ever. Buy animals just so they can fly in an electric thing and <laughs> kill them. A bug zapper. Do it again! <laughs> um, but anyway... Yeah, I've sort of become the assistant head cashier where I'll fill in, and I guess this Tuesday night they schedule me, and she's, my manager's gonna have me head cashier, so it should be fun. It's nice to be trusted like that and stuff, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, let's see. <sighs> we'll talk about the Eden Prairie store and uh, my vacation, I suppose, after this, because I'm gonna film the next episode right now, but... That's alright, we're gonna cut it here just so it's not long. But, um, I, as always, guys, this has been Bully Scholarship. We, I thank you all for watching, and I hope you join me next time. Well, oh, something. shut up, Professor. I hope you join <laughs> Hope you join me next time in, uh, Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. And, uh, as always, guys, keep gaming, and peace out. We'll see you later.